Yes, we had, we started the hiking spree. And that was interesting. During the CCC days, the Metropolitan Parks had built a lot of hiking trails. Except hiking was not fashionable like it is today. And uh, people were not using the hiking trails. And we had to see if we could get them back in the parks a little bit more instead of just going to picnic ground, take the quarter mile hike and that sort of thing. And then at the same time, we had another problem, and that was that our our local personnel in the field, rangers, had a sort of police image, and it wasn't a particularly friendly image. And so we decided we'd start a hiking spree. And John Casarda and I worked out trails which were pretty usable. I forget how many miles, maybe seven or eight miles you had to walk the first year. And you could come into the park office and you'd get a form where you could ask any of our rangers for a form. And each hike that you took on one of these trails, you had to have a ranger sign that form. And that did a great deal for our public relations with the rangers. At the end of the first year, someplace in the records, you can find out how many people signed up. But it, our idea was that we'd go out and cut a few willow wands and give them as hiking staffs as a souvenir. And we had so many people that qualified that first year that uh, we couldn't possibly do anything but cut down half of the swamps that get it. And so John Casarda contacted, I think it was a Mr. Butcher, who provided us with our cleaning equipment. And Mr. Butcher gave us a front end loader full of mop handles. We'd drill little holes in the mop handles down in the sand run maintenance area. We put it on a leather throng. And then we developed a little metal pin with a golden oak insignia on it. And we gave everybody one of these and a little thing to put on. And then every year after, we got another one to put on. When I left, the uh, staff out of Santa Run made up the hiking staff with names of all the trails on them. And uh, I had that hiking staff until I gave it to my son uh, downstairs. And we had a great big long cord with 30 or 40 pins on it, <laughs> which is really quite a neat souvenir of how successful something like that can be. And I think it's been successful ever since.